next group that I look at are extracts. If you put jasmine flowers into a still, in the still you'll have trays with holes in. If you put jasmine flowers in there, what happens is one of the main components of a, a jasmine petal is wax. What happens is the steam melts the wax and then blocks the holes. So you get no distillation. Yeah? So for this, they had to find an alternative method. And the method that's used for this is solvent extraction. Yeah? You basically wash the flowers in an organic solvent, a solvent like petroleum ether, hexane, cyclohexane. Used to, used to use benzene, but not nowadays. Yeah. And that basically washes the oil out of the, the petals. It breaks the cells. Yeah. So a hydrocarbon solvent. It dissolves the, the volatile oil. That's the one that we call the essential oil. It also dissolves non-volatile oil. So some of the oils that exist in, in a plant are also non-volatile. They're not all essential oil. Yeah, there are other oils in there too. So this will dissolve the non-volatile oils. Also dissolves the waxes. And will dissolve some color too. In our mixture, we have volatile oil, non-volatile oil, waxes and color. The waxes make up about 50%. So this material becomes solid. It's called a concrete. Because it's solid. Yeah. So we would, if we were doing jasmine flowers, this would be called jasmine concrete. Yeah. There's another step to this because we don't want the waxes in our finished compound because it won't dissolve with, for example, orange oil, won't dissolve with terpenes. Yeah. We, we want to take those waxes out. So what we do is a second step and we use alcohol to extract again. And then this extraction will get, give us the volatile oil and color. So if we get this, this concrete, we warm it slightly, we pour alcohol on top, as we stir it, the, these three items, the volatile or non-volatile and color, move into the alcohol and the waxes fall out. Yeah? And then we take the, the juice off, evaporate off the alcohol. This gives us a product called an absolute. Absolute. The alcohol is, is, is critical that it's the purest possible alcohol that you can get. It should be 99.99% pure. Did you use ethyl alcohol? Sorry? Ethyl, ethyl alcohol, yeah. Only ethyl alcohol. Well, because if you have contaminants, if you imagine that you have um, in here, you have your wax here, yeah, your wax has fallen out, and then you have, let's say, this much perfume absolute in this much alcohol. What happens when you evaporate the alcohol? All the contaminants become super concentrated in the absolute. That's why the alcohol must be really, really pure. Yeah. Anybody ever smelt jasmine essential oil? Yes? No such thing. <laughs> <laughs> there is something that's called jasmine oil, but 
No. There's jasmine oil. There's jasmine oil, it, which could be jasmine absolute dissolved in an oil, but there is no essential oil of jasmine. It's not distilled, it's not expressed, it's extracted. This comes uh, uh, important for some people doing aromatherapy because usually absolutes cannot be used in aromatherapy because of their trace components from the alcohol and other things. Yeah. So if you wanted to make a natural perfume, essential oils and absolutes, fine. If you wanted to make a long-lasting perfume with essential oils, what's the problem? Volatile. The very process of producing the essential oil has only extracted the volatile oils. And that's why I emphasize the non-volatile components of absolutes. If you want to make a perfume last longer, generally, it's very difficult with only essential oils. Yeah? Because these are all volatile components. Yeah? There are some exceptions, like uh, agar wood, vetiver, sandalwood. But nowadays, they're very, very expensive materials. I mean, the sandalwood now is around two thousand dollars a kilo. Isn't sandalwood also dyed? Yes, yeah, and unfortunately, we we can't legally buy Mysore sandalwood from India. Yeah. But there's a lot of Australian sandalwood as well. Well, the Aus yeah from Mount, Mount Romance, uh, most Indian sandalwood, believe it or not, comes from Australia. Now. Now, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's actually actually shipped it back over to, to India, but it's a different species. Yeah? Um, the Santalum spicata, which is the Australian sandalwood, is, uh, a bit, is a bit fresher, a bit more coarse. Doesn't have the same richness as the Santalum album, which is the Mysore East Indian sandalwood. Extracts, typically nowadays, absolutes and things, will make up probably less than 1% of a perfume compound. The, uh, the method of using um, extraction is more expensive. The yields are lower. Takes a thousand kilos of rose petals to make about one kilo of rose absolute. And if you imagine a thousand kilos of rose petals, that's about a container, a 40 foot container load. Yeah. Just to make one kilo. That's right, yeah. But there are there, one of the sad things with like Rose Absolute, Rose Absolute contains about 2.5% of the thing called methyl eugenol, which is restricted to, I think it's about 2 or, th two or 20 parts per million. I have to check here, yeah, 0.002%. So nowadays, uh, Rose Absolute is almost banned. And that's hap actually happening to most citrus oils because of uh, other c components which we'll go into later.